At number 1, Realme Narzo 70 Pro. This is Realme Narzo 70 Pro. Phone has 6.67 inches, AMOLED display with 120Hz refresh rate, and 2200Hz instant touch rate. Very quick in display fingerprint sensor for security needs. Smartphone has special feature on display side. First one is air sensor and second one is rainwater smart touch, which enable you to use with wet hand without any resistant. Phone has FHD resolution with HDR10 plus support and 393 pixel density. First in this segment 2000 nits brightness display. Beautiful horizon glass design, with glass and leather finish and weight is almost 199 gram. The frame is made of plastic and thickness is approximately 8 millimeters. On right side phone has power button and volume rocker. On top side phone has secondary mic, speaker grill, and headphone jack. On bottom phone has hybrid SIM tray, primary mic, type C port and speaker grill. Phone comes with Dimensity 7050 chipset, which has 6 lakh plus and 22 score and good Geekbench. This is very budget gaming chipset in this segment. You can consider for gaming purpose because it also support 3D VC cooling system to avoid overheating. Phone has triple camera setup on rear, 50 megapixel main camera, 8 megapixel ultra wide and 2 megapixel macro lens. The camera quality is outstanding in this segment, colors are so good. The macro lens works well. You can record max 4K at 30fps and FHD video at 60 frames per second. The video is really stable and colors are very sharp. On front phone has 16 megapixel selfie camera. Narzo 70 Pro runs on Realme UI 5.0, which is based on Android 14 and packed with 8GB of RAM with 128 and 256GB of storage with UFS 3.1. This phone is powered by 5000mAh battery and 67W of fast charger. At number 2, the Realme P1 has emerged as a significant addition to the competitive smartphone landscape, reflecting the brand's commitment to innovation and affordability. Phone has 6.67 inches AMOLED display, offering 120Hz fast refresh rate with rainwater touch technology, so you can use with wet hands without any problem. This is FHD display, and the viewing angles are good. Unfortunately, you can't get HDR support, but good thing is to have dual stereo speaker system. P1 support, 1200 nits of peak brightness, which is higher than P1 Pro. Support in display fingerprint sensor. Very beautiful Phoenix design, with 188 gram weight and IP54 water rating. Phone has Dimensity 7050 chipset, which is not very powerful gaming chipset, but you can play some games on medium graphic setting, and to the score is round about 6 lakh, which is good. P1 comes with 50 megapixel main camera, along with 2 megapixel depth sensor. Camera quality is good. Photos comes out in good colors and detail. The camera technology in the Realme P1 deserves special mention because it enable user to capture stunning images. Camera works good, even low light or night mode. You can record max 4K video at 30 FPS. 4K video doesn't look stable because you can't enable EIS in 4K video. To enable EIS, you should be moved to FHD video recording. On front, phone has 16 megapixel selfie shooter. Runs Realme UI 5.0, based on Android 14, and packed with 6 and 8 GB of RAM, you will get 2 years OS and 3 years security updates. Powered by 5000 mAh battery with 45 watt charger. At number 3, Realme Narzo 70. This is the Narzo 75G, or you can say, the copy of Narzo 70 Pro in term of design and display. Phone has 6.67 inches, a MOLED display, including 120 Hz refresh rate with magic ring design. Also support is Rainwater Smart Touch, which enable you to use with wet hand without any resistant. FHD resolution in 396 ppi is providing outstanding view. Very quick in display fingerprint sensor for security needs. Good thing is to have dual stereo speaker system. 7.79mm slim design with 188 gram weight. Phone comes with Dimensity 7050 chipset, which is not very powerful gaming chipset, but you can play some games on medium graphic setting, and to the score is round about 6 lakh, which is good. Just like P1, Narzo 70 has 50 megapixel main camera, 
along with 2 megapixel depth sensor. Camera quality is good. Photos comes out in good colors and detail. Camera works good, even low light or night mode. You can record max 4K video at 30 FPS. 4K video doesn't look stable because you can't enable EIS in 4K video. Phone has 16 megapixel selfie shooter. Runs Realme UI 5.0 based on Android 14, and packed with 6 and 8 GB of RAM. You will get 2 years OS and 3 year security updates. Powered by 5000 mAh battery, with 45 watt charger. At number 4, Realme 12X 5G. This is Realme 12X 5G. The smartphone has 6.67 inches IPS LCD display with 120Hz refresh rate. Display has FHD resolutions with 395 pixel density. It also support air sensor, like Realme Narzo 70 Pro. Display offer 915 nits peak brightness, which is good for outdoor use. Phone has a protection of panda glass as well as IP54 rating, to protect from dust and splashes. Very beautiful design with woodland green and twilight purple colors. Very light body with 188 gram weight and thickness is approximately 7.9 millimeters, which make it ultra slim. Phone support dual speaker system and Dimensity 6100 plus 5G chipset, with vapor chamber cooling technology. The Antutu score is 4 lakh plus which is good, in this price segment. The Geekbench score is also well. The phone support dual camera on rear. First one is 50 megapixel main camera, and second one is 2 megapixel depth sensor. According to the price, camera quality is not much bad on photography side. Camera processing and colors are good. You can record max FHD video at 30 frames per seconds without any stabilization. Unfortunately, video is really bad for me. Check the zoom test of Realme 12X camera. On front phone has 8 megapixel selfie camera. It runs Realme UI 5.0 based on Android 14. Realme will provide you 2-year Android and 3-year of security updates. Phone packed with 8GB of RAM and 128GB of storage. It is powered by 5000mAh battery and 45W fast charger. At number 5, Nartso 60X. Should have everything from great design to great camera to great performance. Yeah. See, being a gamer, I'm a sucker for smartphones with high performance. But in my box.